Listen, I'm not telling you to get a white couch, but I'm telling you, sis, go ahead and do it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is B Iman B, Tatiana Iman, and I do all things lifestyle, mommy content, and home decor. Thank you guys for tuning into my video today. So today I wanted to talk about my white couch that I'm on. Give it up for the couch, okay? Give it up for her. <laughs> so I just wanted to do a little Coleman furniture review um, and talk about what it's been like having a white couch for three months now. I think three months. Yep. I just wanted to talk about that, so uh, let's get into it. So I wanted to do this video because I get a lot of questions on my couch. A lot of people think that it's a love sack, but it's actually not. So again, it came from Coleman Furniture, um, and I found this couch from another YouTuber, actually, and I'll link her channel below because I am obsessed with her channel and I love her videos, um, and she does a lot of videos on lifestyle, home decor as well, but she had re recently purchased this couch, I believe last year, um, and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful, and when I looked into it, I was like, oh, okay, that's actually not as expensive as what I was um, thinking, you know, a normal couch would cost you know because furniture as y'all know expensive. furniture is expensive um and so especially good quality um furniture so it can be very uh pricey and so when i actually looked online and i saw how much their furniture was i was like oh this is nice um and she actually did a review of the couch as well and she had very you know nice things to say um, about the whole process the shipping the delivery um just everything was you know quality and great so i was like oh my god i think i want to get this couch and so it was actually kind of funny like a lot of my my family and friends they were like a white couch and you have a baby are you crazy listen I was gonna get my white couch okay i was gonna get my white couch because listen i've always wanted um a white couch and i would see like the youtube girlies and a lot of influencers have like a white or off white couch and i just thought that was so aesthetically pleasing which it is um and i saw people who had kids you know that have a a, a white couch now listen i'm not telling you to get a white couch but I'm telling you, sis, go ahead and do it. Because in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about how I keep my white couch clean, um, some things that I've used, some things that I've used to protect it, um, some daily maintenance that I do, and my overall just experience with a white couch, especially with having an eight month old. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have some notes on my phone, so I just kinda wanted to give you guys some accurate information here. So just a few things. The name of the couch is called Cali Pearl Modular Sofa. Hello? Sofa. <laughs> Can I talk? Um, it's the Cali Pearl Modular Sofa. What I love about modular pieces is that you can break it apart, move it around, and add pieces to it. Um, so in the future, say we wanted to actually have like a larger couch. Um, right now, it's like the standard three-seater whatever you call it but it's actually pretty big so you can sit multiple people you know on this couch and with the ottoman but if i wanted to make it longer for whatever reason i could buy additional pieces to kind of go um, i could buy like a corner piece i could buy another middle piece and stuff like that and i can extend it out and so they sell those pieces separately so i really uh like that so I also bought the ottoman. Um, I thought that we really, you know, needed an ottoman and that it would look good with the couch. Um, so I opted for that instead of buying, you know, like a separate um, accent chair. Um, but I like that it came with, you know, different options and it kind of gave you, you know, like a design tip, like, hey, this looks good with this. Um, here's some other things in this set, in this collection, um, and things like that. I ordered the couch on um, February 24th. So like I said, we moved in here, um, we moved in here the beginning of March. Uh, 
yeah actually it might have been March 1st so I had ordered it a little bit before then and it took exactly a month to get here so it took about four weeks um, for the couch to get here so when they delivered the couch it came in these huge boxes and so at first I'll admit like I was expecting the couch to be like smaller and I was like oh, okay you know it's gonna be like a small little cute couch um but when we actually unpackaged the boxes and everything and then kind of like assembled everything we were like, okay, this couch is a lot bigger than what we thought it was, which is good. I mean, it's a it's a nice, big, very comfortable couch. But we were like, oh, okay, this is like a this is like a real couch. Okay. The other thing that I want to talk about is the cushions on here. So um, the cushions are very, very soft and plush. They're I don't know if it's a down feather material, um, but it's definitely very uh, soft and it's not like hard or anything like that. The couch is super comfortable. I love that it has uh, removable cushion covers. So both the pillow covers and the cushions, you can take the covers off and wash them. So we love that. <laughs> the next thing that I really want to talk about is kind of how I protected or the steps that I took to protect the couch and what I do on the daily to keep up with a white couch. So the first thing that I want to talk about, and again, I got this from um, a YouTuber that uh, I really, you know, loved and that I watched. Her name is Stephanie Rose, but she showed how she kind of protected the couch to start off with from the jump. So I invested in Scotchgard. Okay, so I got this from Amazon um, and it came in like a pack of two. But Scotchgard is used to protect the fabric of the couch. So you can use this on a few different um, fabrics. Um, but basically, you want to spray it on the couch beforehand, like when you first, first get it. Um, this stuff is very, very, I don't want to say toxic per se, but it, like the older oh my god so you want to make sure that you have like your windows open doors open and stuff to air out your house because that smell is definitely very potent <laughs> um but it says it's ideal for use on upholstery throw pillows table linens fabric purses clothing canvas shoes backpacks and luggage so basically, like I said, when I first, first got the couch, um, I like literally sprayed it down, sprayed the whole thing down um, with this and I, like front, back, all over. All over. Um, basically what this does, it just helps, like I said, to kind of like protect the fabric. So even if something does spill on the couch, which things have spilled on the couch, I'm going to show you how I clean it. But even if things do spill on the couch, it doesn't like seep deep into the fabric and ruin the whole, you know, like integrity of the couch basically. Um, and so it makes it very easy to wipe things off, which I have noticed. So that was the first step that I used. So again, it was a Scotch guard, And like I said, I just got it from Amazon. The second step that I use to make sure that I'm maintaining just the overall look and feel of my couch is going to be a pet hair remover. And I've showed this before in one of my videos. Um, so again, I got this from Amazon. So as you know, I have a cat and I have a dog. Um, the dog isn't the problem child, it's the cat. So the cat sheds and the cat's um, fur is like a brownish grayish color so basically when up against a white couch you can see it and if y'all know me i don't like cat hair. i don't like hair in general this is my best kept secret so <laughs> um i saw this i believe on tiktok because where else does our generation get our information from but um tiktok it was a girl that was using this and it is so effective so effective um but basically it really like picks up the the hair and it traps it in this like little ugh, let's see it's so gross in this like container thing back here and then you dump it out i showed a video of me using this before 10 out of 10 recommend i can link it below um this picks up hair very effectively and i use this like every day i don't know why so um it picks up the cat and dog hair it picks up like other little like you know like crumbs that might be on the couch um or other just little things dust but i use this like literally every day so that's going to be the key um you don't want to you know just let things pile up or go so many days without fluffing and cleaning the couch because it's going to make a difference so like i said i use the pet roller literally every day the last thing and probably the most important thing that i want to show you about how i keep my white couch clean is going to be 
you will see this Folex, okay? Folex is a, my one of my best kept secrets, okay? In addition to this pet uh, hair roller. So this is also something that Stephanie Rose had put me onto. So I'll admit, I did not know that this was like carpet cleaner when I got it, but she uses it for her couch. This stuff, y'all, get, get this, get this. Get, even if you don't have a white couch, get this. Because instant spot removal, instant. And I've watched it happen. now. I would be one of those people that like spill a little bit on a couch and then show y'all how it works, but I, I, I'm not doing that. So you just got to trust me. Um, when I tell you this gets stuff up and I'm talking like my dog literally somehow, some way found a starburst. Okay. A red starburst. Chewing, salivating all over it, whatever, and got red starburst gunk all over my white furniture okay and so when I tell you I'm so upset but literally I pulled this out baby you can't even tell me where where the, where the spot was you can't even tell me because we don't see it okay and, and it's almost it's so funny like it's literally right before your eyes you will put this down you'll spray it um and give it a few seconds don't don't wipe it just yet just give it a few seconds and it'll start to disappear and then you just take like a microfiber cloth or you know you can use a paper towel but the paper towel might you know like whatever you call it peel off and disintegrate whatever um but like a microfiber cloth and you just kind of dab it it's gone it's gone spot gone <laughs> so get y'all some of this and again y'all know where i got this from i don't even have to say it I'll link it below. Um, but it does say that it removes pet accidents, grease, ink, red wine, coffee, blood, rust, food, cosmetics, dirt, grime, most old stains, and it's excellent for upholstery. So this is going to be my best kept secret. This is really what I use to get the spots out of my white couch. So that's really it guys. I mean, that's really what I've been using to kind of keep my white couch white and keep it clean. Now, like I said, I do have an eight month old. I do have two pets. I have a husband, we do live, you know, accidents happen. So I definitely have myself um, spilt things on the couch. My husband has spilt things. My baby has thrown up on the couch. Okay, listen. But um, trust me, it's actually not as bad as like what a lot of people think. And so when people, you know, imagine, you know, having white furniture, it's like, oh, no, I couldn't do that. You know, we have a kid. We have to do Baby, you just got to invest in the right products to clean it. OK, and then you also have to set rules. So don't eat on my couch. Don't eat on my couch. We shouldn't be eating in the living room anyway. You know, that's what the dining room table is for. But do you. But like I said, I mean, I understand that um, everybody's family dynamic is different and you know, you do what's best for you. But I'm just saying, sis, if you was thinking about it, if you was thinking about getting a white couch, do it. Cause you only live once. You only live once. So that's all for my video. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Um, I have a bunch of videos and more to come on home decor reset videos, cleaning, organizing, baby content, lifestyle, um, all of the above. So again, thank you guys for tuning in and until next time.